Hey what's up guys, it's time to talk about the one that comes after the 10, the next S flagship, Galaxy S11. Samsung just made the Note 10 official and it's about to be here, we're gonna have a lot of videos and coverage regarding that. It's a great phone, but if you are someone who's using a Galaxy S10, you're probably waiting for the next Galaxy S flagship phone, which is S11. And even if you don't have the S10, it is still worth waiting for what Samsung is bringing in 2020. Boy, do we have some juicy games coming in our way. So Ice Universe posted the benchmark for the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chip. This is the Geekbench 4 score for the Galaxy S11 US variant, which will have Qualcomm 865 chip. And you can see it's got the highest multi-core score right now, 12,946, and a 4,160 single core score. The test device is running Android 10.0 along with 6 gigs of RAM. Now these scores are looking really amazing for an early prototype. I mean, the Galaxy S11 is going to be completely finished as well as we're going to see LPDDR5 RAM for the first time. So you can definitely expect the scores to be improved a lot. The way things are looking, it will go toe to toe against the Apple A13 chip. As far as the international Galaxy S11 Exynos model is concerned, it could surpass Snapdragon 865 since it's rumored to come with 5 or 6 nanometer of architecture. Again, we'll see how everything will go. And in recent news, it's been revealed that Samsung has spent more than $100 million with its AMD partnership in order to bring the Radeon Exynos graphics for the first time on their Galaxy flagship phone. According to Samsung's earning transcript, the first chip with AMD GPU could arrive by 2021, so Galaxy S11 might not be the first phone to have this, which is a bit sad, but good news is that it's going to be a multi-year, multi-generational deal, meaning all the future Galaxy Note and S flagship phones will get some serious upgrades when it comes to graphics. With powerful GPU, we'll have some amazing gaming capabilities as well as video editing. The Note 10 can already transform itself into a desktop mode. Maybe in the future our phones will get so strong that we might be able to edit a full 4K video on it. AMD is amazing. I'm so excited for this. Samsung is definitely serious about surpassing Apple and Qualcomm when it comes to chip gains. Also, Samsung will be officially announcing its 100 megapixel camera sensor on August the 12th. The first phone to use this overkill monster sensor will be a Xiaomi phone. It's rumored to be the Mi Mix 4. Xiaomi is already planning to use the 64 megapixel sensor that Samsung has released. Already, it's going to be on a mid-range Xiaomi Redmi phone. I don't know why Samsung is bringing all the good stuff for other companies. I mean, of course, it's profitable but I feel like Ice Universe put that perfectly. They have to start doing things for their own phones as well. I hope next year we see all these amazing things on Samsung's own phones as well, especially a higher refresh rate display, a 120Hz or a 90Hz screen is a must for the Galaxy S11. Also, Samsung is about to release a brand new Galaxy M series phone, the M20S. Its actual physical battery got leaked, which revealed that Samsung is planning to bring 6,000 mAh cell power with the M20s, which is insane. I mean, this phone can go for three to four days with all that juice. Now, most likely Samsung will be dropping the headphone jack on the Galaxy S11 family. So I hope we see bigger battery gains over there as well. So far, this is all that is confirmed regarding the Galaxy S11. So the code name is confirmed, the smaller punch hole design, smaller than the one that we have seen with the Galaxy Note 10. We're gonna have a generational camera upgrade thanks to a bigger sensor size. We could see 100 megapixel madness as well. Again, let's see what Samsung ultimately do when they officially announce this sensor. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding the Galaxy S11 leaks. The leak journey has officially started subscribe to the channel if you're new here and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out